Add a cylinder, give it a solidifier and a bevel modifier. Add a ground plane and a reflection plane light probe for proper reflections. Add a Suzanne. Set up a limit location constraint so you can't move it outside of the jar. Record yourself wiggling it around by hand. Enable collision in the jar's physics tab. Add a cloth sim to Suzanne. Record yourself hitting a glass saucepan lid with a rubber handled screwdriver with a strange deranged look on your face preferably. Add it to the VSC, chop it up and align it properly to the impacts. Add a particle sim and an explode modifier so it explodes. Make the jar's collision properties a little bit sticky and add some friction. Record yourself making several pop noises by repeatedly slapping yourself on the cheeks whilst puckering up like your first kiss. Add it to the VSE, chop out the best pop and align it to the explosion. Add a fluid domain. Make Suzanne the emitter on the frame before she explodes. Duplicate the jar and make it a Manta Flow Collider to contain the liquid, just so you can change the thickness if necessary. Add a bit of initial normal velocity to Suzanne's fluid emission. Play with the domain settings until you like the look of the liquid. Manta Flow can be a little bit tricky, so I've included with the scene file a PDF which will show you how to achieve the look you're after quickly, plus solutions to some of the problems that you may encounter. You can get the link in the description below. Simulate it. Mesh it. Record yourself making several squelch sounds, preferably with your mouth. Add it to the VSE, chop out the best one and align it to the explosion. Animate the domain's visibility so that it's only visible on frames where it's been meshed. Add an environment, lights and camera, and then materials. Animate your camera. Add some render effects. Set up the render output. And render the animation. And don't forget, if you want the scene file for this and loads of other scene files, plus that PDF, then check out the link in the description below, and I'll see you next time.